Hello, it's Simcraft here, and today we're going to build the Flying Wings Slipstream. I've got the Slipstream Builders Kit. Uh, it's the Viper and EBX versions, that's the uh, power versions. Uh, I've got, um, it's a bit of like of an unboxing and checking the parts and uh, seeing what you've, we've got. Anyway, this is the instructions. That's uh, page one, two, uh, three, that's the taping, you can see the tape, how to tape it. Uh, uh, what we've got here, that's it, the power set up. Uh, what else we got? So that's step 13, 14, 15, so it goes to and radio set up. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. This might be useful to look at. Um, there's the battery there at the front to counteract the weight of the motor at the back. That's the angle of the motor. I've already got the motor, and that's where the um, that's the servos, two servos, and receiver and speed controller go in the middle uh, two uh, micro well it says you can use standard um, servos it's got bolsa elevons elevons I don't know if it is elevons uh, um, and this is all made of EPP so it's crash res resistant and can be gl glued together with uh, Yoohoo uh, or a hot glue uh, that's a metal um, mount for the motor you can see the angle of that as well that goes onto the EPP foam it's all uh, laser cut um, parts anyway there's quite a few pages of instructions so that's quite good that's the instruction uh, uh, mini manual now I've unboxed it, but um, we call this an unboxing because it's near enough an unboxing. Through through the box away, can you see we've got one and then two uh, channels already cut? I'll show you the two wings first. You've got the two wings that will be glued together, a bit like that. We'll take that tape off in a minute, like this. I'll move it a little further away and those channels will be filled with you get some carbon uh, rods uh, two flat rods and one circular I don't know if you can see that I'll spread them apart there's two two flats to go in the channel using you you who and one round uh, main spar it's quite long that will go into the channels of um, the wings and next we've got a little package here a little package uh, it's all taped together nicely uh, <laughs> I've got a cold so might have to cough in a minute um, that looks like the uh, the bottom of the that takes the battery because it, it has to be cut out and that'll strengthen it up. Those two um, bits of plywood there. You've got the wing. Uh, if I turn it upside down, you can see the already cut out. Well, it's near enough cut out. Ready for you. The two uh, wing tips. That's good. In um, and two, uh, what they call connectors to the two micro servers to move the elevons. And where's the elevons? Here we are. We got two. Already oh, taken, taken them out. That's why we couldn't find them. They're shaped like that. That will go probably. Have a look there, like that. 
I can take it further away the shape will be something like that and I'll show the parts that you need at least I'm sh I've got to show you the parts that um, th that you get and then I'll show you the parts that I've that you need to get there's a little bag of uh, velcro uh, and you can see the connectors there as well in that little bag two of those connectors for the elephants and that's metal good that's metal um, connectors as well that's good they're strong I usually put a, a bit of uh, uh, um, piping tubing around that plastic piping to hold them together but that, you probably won't need them with those metal connectors look you've got two of those you've got velcro for the battery you've got uh, plywood little bits for the cutouts and we've got some more um, uh, EPP foam maybe for the cutouts as well as I said you've got the two uh, very uh, very nicely cut uh, plywood parts oh an important thing which I like it's we've got a metal we've got a metal uh, motor mount so that'll take us on to I'll oh, rip this open quickly it's protected in a corrugated thing and there it is that's the metal nice strong metal already pre-drilled for uh, the motor that I've got the motor I've got is uh, which I'm going to try first of all I've got lots of little motor spares I'm going to try if I can get it focus the Turner G S no this isn't this C 3530 so it's the C 3530 aero drive at 1700 oh they can see better there 1700 1700 uh, kV revs per minute there you are C 3530 aero drive and the uh, I think I'm going to use a 7 by 7 by 6 here. I don't think you're going to see that. It's upside down actually, but 7 by 6 E. I'll be taking this off anyway. It's uh, you come with this um, bracket um, thing to fix onto the front of an aircraft, but it's going on the back and be fixing onto this instead. Like, oops, good like that okay so we've got the motor so you have to get your own motor but you can uh, also, also buy the part power kit need some euro for the you can have the uh, get, I was going to say you can get the power kit from um, for, from uh, flying wings a knife got a couple of knives to cut the parts out for the um, the power uh, the servos, uh, the power setup, and battery. I'm going to use a Nanotech 2.2, .2, uh, 25 to 50 discharge, 2.2, .2, that's 2200 milliamp hours by Turnergy.